everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com here today with an unboxing video of the Amazon Fire Phone. Just came in the mail today. So I'm going to go ahead and open it on up. You'll see it's still in the packaging, etc. I'm going to open it on up, give some first thoughts, show off a couple things about the device, and just kind of give an overall opinion on it. All right, so here's a closer look. Let's go ahead and get this guy opened. First of all, I do want to note that you do have the option of buying a 32 gigabyte or 64 gigabyte model. The 32 gigabyte model is $199 on contract or $650 retail, $100 extra if you would like the 64 gigs instead of 32. This is actually the 32 gigabyte variant. So um, you'll see just some information lets you know dynamic perspective and fireflies on there, just a couple features that, and unique features that Amazon has included with this device. So let's go ahead and open it on up. Let's see if I can figure out how to open this box. Oh, it is sealed right here. So let me go ahead and uh, cut the seal. All right, there we go. So got that opened and you'll see it just uh, folds on up like this. A little information uh, right here to greet you in different languages as well. And here's the phone itself the Amazon Fire Phone. Let's go ahead and take this out. I'm going to take it out for just a second. I'll actually, uh, one of my favorite parts of getting a new phone is uh, peeling off the plastic. It just has a real nice feeling to it. So there we go. Ooh, it has a little bit of weight to it actually. Um, but let's go ahead and set this to the side actually. I'm going to turn it on so you guys can see it boot up. And while it boots up for the first time, so it might take a little bit longer than usual, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what else is in the box. So right now, we do have another charger, of course. It should take a micro USB charger, so right here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, open the rest of it. it. Looks like there are headphones that do come with it. Let's go ahead and check those out. It's always nice when you buy a new phone, it comes with headphones, even if they aren't high quality headphones. It's just always nice that uh, if you're paying that much for a device that they even include cheap headphones. So you can use your phone in, uh, I guess, in private in public settings where you want to listen to music or talk on the phone etc and then finally you do have the micro usb cable right here um, so yeah you'll see right here just uh actually amazon includes a somewhat longer than usual micro usb cable so that's always a plus they didn't uh, skimp on the length of these cables at all so you'll see the phone is now on selecting our language hit next uh, you can register your phone um, I'm going to go ahead and just register later so you guys can, uh, I guess, go ahead and see the phone actually in action. Um, on the front here, you'll see that you do have a home button right here. So I'm going to hit uh, skip. Yes. So skipping the guide. Um, looking around, though, let's go ahead and check out the back of the phone. Very flat on the back. Kind of feels like a Nexus 4 almost on the back. You'll see it does have a cam right here and an LED flash as well. On the top is the uh, headphone jack, there's a speaker, and also a power button. Down at the bottom is, of course, a charging port, and it looks like a microphone and a speaker. Um, you do have a front-facing camera right here, uh, and that's really about it. On the sides, on the right side is absolutely nothing, you'll see. And then on the left side is, I believe, the Firefly button, if I'm not mistaken, and volume up and down in a na nano SIM slot. Although I do, like I said earlier, this is only um, available on AT&T. So it only works on AT&T, which is interesting that they didn't include any um, carrier branding on it. I'm really surprised. I figured I'd seen an AT&T symbol in the back or something like that. So there we go. Uh, you'll see um, you have a bunch of different options. It is a different OS, I guess. Um, it looks like they decided to make their own. You'll see if you want to make a phone call, you can. The home button just brings you back to the home as you would have figured. Um, swiping down and up, you got a notification panel with quick widgets right here. So anyways, up in these widgets, you do have a flashlight widget. There's a Mayday button right there, which is Amazon's 24-7 help, which is real nice. So you have that. Um, running through, you'll see you have Silk Browser email messaging phone. Um, you can swipe from the right and it gives you a list of uh, certain things. Um, and then if you swipe from the left, I don't think anything happens. We already did down, you swipe from the bottom. I thought that was supposed to do something, you might have to change it in the settings. So you got an app store videos, you basically have access to all your Amazon things once you sign in. I haven't signed in so I can't 
necessarily download apps and such. I would need to do that first. So just kind of want to give you an idea of how I, I guess like it looks pretty very fairly simple at the moment. I'm gonna have to play around with it a little bit more. I haven't uh, looked into it too much, but like I said, I'll be doing a full review video very soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. Be sure to subscribe to me and be notified of that video. So let's say we wanted to go to music. It's probably gonna ask me to sign in to Amazon which I did not do because I skipped it. Um, it looks like it brings you to the Amazon website. Not exactly sure why it uh, brought me to this page right here. But uh, let's try the, uh, I believe this is the, uh, the what, Firefly button on the left side here. Let's go ahead and press that. And it is. So Firefly button enables you to simply point your camera at things you want to identify. So let's go ahead and say I want to identify this. Xbox One controller. Let's see if that works. I, I'm not exactly sure if that's uh, something. It says device not registered. Um, you must register to use it. So, okay. Well, never mind there. You'll see this will show up your recent apps that you've had opened. You'll see on the far left is Firefly, uh, the dialer as well. Um, but unfortunately, I can't necessarily get that to work. Um, volume button. Let's see what that does. It just brings a ringer volume. You can put it silent for three hours or silent, sorry, the uh, exposure is not very good here. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, Shop Amazon. It seems like a lot of functionality is limited to you having an Amazon account. So if you don't have an Amazon account, um, it looks like you won't be able to use very many thing, features of this phone. Um, you do get, I believe, a year of Amazon Prime, which is fantastic. You get, uh, here's the dynamic perspective. You'll see when I uh, move things, it kind of has a 3D look to it. Um, so you'll see this came up, apps, games, web, music, videos, photos, books, a bunch of great stuff. So let's go to photos, see if I can activate uh, the camera. Uh, looks like I have to register to have that backed up. So let's go to the app drawer. Device not registered. Um, so yeah, looks like you really need to register your device to actually utilize it. So I'm gonna go ahead and register it, use it for a while, use it on AT&T's network, and then go ahead and make a review video very soon. So stay tuned for that. Let me know what you think um, design-wise. It has a little bit of weight to it, but it does feel uh, nice in the hand, actually. It doesn't have a cheap feel to it. Like I said, the back is very similar to Nexus 4. Um, it just reminds me of it very much with the how flat it is and the material it's made of. Um, it does have a square feel to it as well. You'll see you do have a decent amount of space between the screen and the edge on the top and bottom. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show you for now. Here's the lock screen. Um, it does use dynamic perspective as well. So I'll show that in full once I do the review video. It actually looks pretty cool with this background. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe. As I said, that review video is coming out soon. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.